Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm sharing my top 10 favorite essential oils. I did this video I think a couple of years ago now and it was just my top 10 favorite essential oils from Young Living. Um, but since then, as you know, I have branched out. I use other brands and so my top 10 favorite oils are different. So I'm gonna do an updated video and I'm super excited. It was hard to narrow it down to 10 and I might have a couple extra. <laughs> okay, first up, these are not in any order. Um, I'm just grabbing them from the table. This is Ylang Ylang. Um, this is a floral um, oil. It is, I just am a floral scent person so I love all floral essential oils but this one is um really good um for like an intimacy oil i have a whole video on um essential oils in the bedroom which i still can't believe i did but here we are and i'll link that below but this is just a really good oil um to make in different like diy body products like lotions or body wash or shave shave oil or shave gel um i really love using it in that way the most i think because it just smells so good um, it's kind of sharp. This one, um, it's probably getting a little bit old. It's less than half of it is left in the bottle. So it's been um, exposed to the air a lot. So it's a little different than when I first got it. But it is kind of like a sharper floral, if that makes sense. I'm going to try to hurry because I can ramble forever about essential oils. So I'm going to try to speed through these. But let me know if I like miss anything or if you have any questions on something I said. Next is Joy. I talk about Joy a lot. Um, I recently branched out to Revive and I got their Joy um, just so I could compare because this is like you can't really duplicate Joy um, and they did. It smells almost exactly the same but anyways Joy is a blend of floral oils. Oh I just got Rose. I picked up Rose from that. Um, but I believe Ylang Ylang too. Um, it's bergamot, yes, Ylang Ylang, lemon, coriander, tangerine, jasmine, palmarosa, and rose. Um, it's just kind of a good blend. It's very balanced um, and light. It is like a perfume type of oil. I um, keep it in the car and just put it on. Uh, it just makes me happy. It's joy. Uh, next is blue tansy. I love blue tansy. This is probably number one. Um, I get it from Plant Therapy um, just because I like their price point and that you can get even a smaller bottle, a 2.5 bottle. Uh, but it is just, this is my oil, I feel like. Um, you can use it in, I just did a whole video on all the things you can do with Blue Tansy. Um, but you can use it in a lot of beauty um, products like um, DIY serums. And you can even make a purple shampoo. But it is so good. It is light and floral and grounding. And if I were an essential oil, this is what I would be. <laughs> Tansy is a pricier oil if you're shopping with Young Living. Um, so that's one of the first reasons I got it from Plant Therapy because it's more affordable. But it's also used for like respiratory things too. Um, so it has a lot of different uses. I love Blue Tansy so much. I have a roller. Um, it's just a beautiful oil too. When you drop it into a little roller, it's just beautiful to watch it. But next is um, Simply Earth Good Vibes. This is a blend and I use it a lot. Uh, Chris really likes this one too. You just diffuse it and you're like, good things are happening here. Good people, good vibes. It, that is exactly what you get. Um, but it is Clary Sage, which is very good for hormone support. Geranium, lavender, lemon, and hoe wood. Um, so you can use it, you know, as a hormone balance oil too, but we just love diffusing it. With the lemon, it's just so bright and uplifting. Um, so we use that one a lot. Next is patchouli. This is dark patchouli, um, just a different form of it, but this is earthy and fruity, it says. I call this like the dirty hippie oil. It's like really um, floral, like dirty floral. I, that's like a bad way to describe it, but that's how I would describe it. It's very dark like very not bright and uplifting it's very grounding um and you either love it or hate it but patchouli is one of my favorites i would say this is next after blue tansy um and i it's pretty affordable oil we go through it a lot I like, I like to put patchouli in my perfume rollers um and pretty much scent is the reason that i use it no other like properties that i really um i should do a whole video on it maybe there are different properties that i'm not sure of Progescence Plus. This, I felt like, I don't know if I should include this in this video because this is more of like a serum, but it is an essential oil blend. So this is Pro Plus by Young Living. Um, this has wild DM extract, uh, supports your hormones, and 
if I do not use this, which I haven't today, so I'm going to show you how I use it. Um, I just put it on my forearms or inner thighs or ankles. You rotate the application site. But if I skip this, forget to use it, I get headaches. My I feel all out of whack. This really does help in balance my um, hormones. So most of the time people are estrogen dominant. This helps balance you. Um, in that way. And I think I'm going to do an entire video all on hormones, um, maybe just a progestins plus video, but Revive has a dupe, a uh, copycat version of that, and it has the wild DM in it, and it is so far so good. So I'm going to do more on that soon. Next is a blend by Rocky Mountain. This is Aligning. This is such a good blend. I love diffusing this in the morning, kind of just sets me straight for the day while I'm sitting there drinking my coffee and reading this is rosewood, spruce, frankincense, German chamomile, Roman chamomile, and the base of fractionated coconut oil. So it's already diluted. It is so good. It's kind of sweet and earthy. Um, it's just, I have a lot of progestins plus going on, so it's hard to pick it up. But it's very calming um, and grounding and sweet. Um, and it would be a good perfume oil too. The frankincense and all the chamomile, it just is so good, especially... Um, in the morning, but it would be a good like winding down oil too for nighttime. Next is cedarwood, and I forgot to bring rosemary because I feel like rosemary and cedarwood are used a lot um, together in my uh, where what I use them for. So pretend that rosemary is here is here too. I feel like they go hand in hand for me, but they're both just very skin supportive. A lot they're in a lot of beauty recipes too. Um, you can make a lash serum, a lash and brow serum, which I'm going to um, have to do soon. I'm going to take my eyelash extensions off or let them grow out. Um, so I'm going to be needing a serum, but I love the smell of cedarwood because it's very grounding. Um, it is not, like, if you are a, a beginner essential oil user, you probably won't like cedarwood. Um, it's very much, and this is Himalayan cedarwood, there is Atlas cedarwood as well, there's two different ones. So it's very bitey, right off the bat, right off, out of the bottle. Um, but diffusing it with, like, lavender or, um, rosemary even, it is, um, kind of just balances that out. The aroma that they are, is labeled on here is dry and woody, um, and I would agree, it's sharp, dry. Um, but I honestly, I think this Himalayan one I like better than the Atlas one, but they're both similar. It's, it's, uh, definitely a journey in, um, swapping out artificial fragrance with essential oils because it's a lot different. Um, they are very earthy and natural where fragrance is just super strong in your face and lasts forever. Essential oils are different, um, and it's a good thing, but you just have to get used to it. It's a, it's a switch. Um, okay, next is Valor. I don't even know how many I shared. Two, four, six, eight. I have two more, but then I have a couple that I just couldn't not share. Okay, so Valor is next. This is Young Living. Um, Revive also has a Valor. The main thing, and this one I think I like, is the Blue Tansy. Um, like I mentioned earlier, Blue Tansy is my fave. Black Spruce also in this one, Cam 4, Frankincense, and Geranium. This is one of the first oils that became one of my favorites. Um, that makes sense. It came in my starter kit from Young Living, and it is just like such a good like fragrance, smell good oil. An oil I still use um, like before I film, before I start working, before um, I take it on the plane with me when we're flying. We just got back from Florida. It's a good one for relaxing, confidence, that kind of thing. Um, so Valor, I, I don't run out because it is just so good. It's sweet and uplifting, but also just makes you feel good at the same time lastly kind of is my throat chakra there is a whole series of these uh this is rocky mountain oils they have all of the chakras um this one is just my favorite uh, because <laughs> it has blue tansy in it um but it's a blend of blue tansy and peppermint so it's like zingy but super grounding and just so good too this is so me i really love it in the morning when i'm doing my yoga kind of just uplifting the peppermint is good for airways and awakening awakening you um uh and you can buy the whole set or just a single um they have rollers as well which come pre-diluted but anyways there's a couple more um and this one is more like chris's all-time favorite so i'll just share this quickly it's more than lights black spruce it's just like no other oil that you can find i feel like um a tree oil so it smells it is just super, oh, it's like lu luxurious. Um, it's really good in a lot of blends. It's what I use in his um, men's like DIY body wash and um, cologne roller. It's very manly, woodsy, outdoorsy, um, without being like, 
it's kind of just like a on its own kind of perfumey or cologne -y. not exactly like you're sniffing a tree but kind of like that um okay two more uh sacred frankincense i just love this i love sacred frankincense it's super expensive though so you can get it pre-diluted in a roller um and it just it's I think everyone needs this. It is the most grounding. Frankincense is the king of essential oils. Um, and this one is just a little bit different. It's a little, to me, it's like a little more sweet, um, but still not, it's just very grounding, very calming. I like to use this after yoga. Um, and then tummy dries. So this is a pre-diluted Young Living oil. Um, any stomach support roller, like digestive support roller though, I've made, um, in my Simply Earth box, I've made best, like tummy rollers but this one just I don't know this is the best but anything that you can get for stomach support is really good and just works like for us 100% of the time this is spearmint um where are the oils and we've all of us have used this at one point or another um uh, my mother-in-law loves it as well this is spearmint peppermint tangerine anise fennel uh, cardamom and ginger so peppermint and ginger um, are the two, I would say, most popular uh, oils for stomach support. But the blend of this, I don't know, it just works. It's so good. It, and it also smells better than dye dries, if you're familiar with that one. So we have used that a ton. So I think that is it. Um, those are really just my faves. Like, that. I'm not even including, like, our wellness roller. I wanted to just, what I, like, go to most when I'm picking off of the oil shelves. Those are the oils that I use. Um, the most and love so as you can see there's a variety of brands um, let me know if you have questions on that or what brand you um, think you might want to go with what one would be best for you so let me know if I missed anything if you have questions you can also DM me on Instagram too but thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know what oil video you want me to film next I hope you have a great day bye